so yeah, we want to do this for a long time. I'm excited to uh, finally be doing it. Uh, and I think we're going to have some fun. So where to begin with this little story? Because I have been wanting to, I've been, I don't know how many times I've like practiced, like sort of telling this story and, uh, and how this started and, uh, and everything, I guess I'll start with going to prison, right? Um, right before, right before, like the months leading up to uh, me get, going to prison when I had, uh, when I knew I was going, I knew when I was going, um, I just didn't really, uh, care anymore about like what I was eating and when I was eating it. And, uh, I figured like when I got to prison, I was like, we'll go on a diet in prison. We'll lose a bunch of weight. But in the meantime, I'm going to eat whatever the fuck I want. I'm going to eat cakes and pasta and like, I'm going to eat good stuff. And uh, so I was cooking like filet mignon and lobster and stuff. And, uh, Every pound that I gained there was just intentional. I think I got up to about two, 220, 220, something like that. And uh, I did, it wasn't that awful. I was definitely overweight. I didn't like it. But when I got to prison, I went on this like awful diet. I averaged 500 calories a day. And uh, me and my buddy Snow, my homie Snow from the Texas people. God, I wish I could remember the name of the street gang that man was in. Probably best I don't. But uh, he and I would get out and we'd jog every day. And uh, I cut like 95% of that weight back off. And I was just in this, but I was still in awful shape because I'd starved myself and I had just been doing cardio. And, uh, and I was like, I think I came out of prison at like 201 pounds or something like that, like right on the verge of 200. And there's that awful picture of me that, uh, that Kitty took where I'm just like, I haven't shaved in two months and I just look awful. But I'm, just, I'm the happiest I may have ever been because I just finally got out of fucking prison. But, um, yeah, I'm about 200 pounds there. And when I got out, I came on the show, you know, PKA, uh, for those of you who don't know about it. Uh, and I was just like, Hey, yeah, when I was in there, I lost a bunch of weight. I lost, uh, whatever it was, it was 20, 25 pounds or something like that. And I saw somebody, and that may have been the last time I ever read feedback because somebody was like, bullshit, he's lying. He didn't lose any weight. And I was like, but, but I did. What? I mean, it's kind of hard to take progress pictures in prison. So it was just like, I have no proof, you know, I can't, I have no proof, but like every day in prison, I was like weighing myself, like snow was pumping me up. He's like, you can do it, Holmes. You getting skinny, yo. Gonna have to get you a different size jumpsuit. And so, you know, when, when like I got no positive feedback over that, it was a little frustrating. And, uh, I can't, I'm bad with the dates on the early part. I got everything else documented, but at some point I, uh, I looked and, um, I had been following more plates, more dates, uh, Derek over there on YouTube. And, uh, obviously I had watched, um, a bunch of it's always sunny in Philadelphia. And, um, there's the episode where, well, the whole season where Mac gains like 50, 60 pounds. And then between seasons, he like just got in incredible shape. I guess you call it the fat Mac. That's what I've been calling it. I've been calling this whole thing, the fat Mac. And I watched Derek's video. I think it came back, came out in uh, March of last year where he talked about how he thought Rob McClaney did that body transformation. And I was like inspired. I was like, that is the funniest fucking joke of all time. And so I set out to do it. Um, at that point, I told a handful of people, I told Taylor, my buddy Taylor, he is one of the very few people on the, on the earth that I share this information with. Uh, I, uh, I told a couple of other people that are like really close friends, but mostly just Taylor and, uh, and a couple others. And, um, I had already looked into, uh, TRT like the previous year. And so I had like pretty current blood work, you know, just a couple month old blood work. And so, and this is the part that Derek doesn't even know. I didn't tell Derek this because I was afraid, um, what I had done was like super unhealthy, but between like March, between like March, April, May of last year for like two months last year. Um, yeah, between like March, March from March to April. And then all the way through May, I started gaining weight again on purpose. I started eating five guys, burgers and fries twice a fucking day, every fucking day. 
and it was the most fun I've ever had in my life. And I gained like two pounds a week or something like that for months. And I got up to, I think my highest was around 200. Oh, thanks. Thanks for the raid, Mr. Taylor. Uh, I think my highest, I think was like around 235, 240, something like that. And I was going to go higher and it's bullshit because I wanted to hit 250. But, um, and this is, this is pre pandemic, but we heard that, um, we were like, oh yeah, we're going to do uh, an in-person PKA in the fall. And I was like, shit, but my plans won't have come to fruition by then. And I was like, all right, we got to put things into, into warp drive. And so I, I, that's when I first contacted, uh, Derek. Um, actually, let me, let me rewind a little bit. When I, when I heard that, I was like, all right, time to pull back the reins and go on a diet. And so I was, like I said, about 240, I would say, I think that's right about where I was. And then I went on like crazy starvation diet, um, including like lots of fasting and lots of cardio. And I dropped like 20 pounds in a month or something like that. But once again, it's like when you lose weight like that, you just look like shit. Like, like, and you're weak. It's like that skinny fat thing where you've got like no muscle tone and you're always hungry. And, uh, the worst part is you're destroying your metabolism. So after a month of that and just being so miserable with it, that's when I contacted Derek. That's right around the same time. I think that we had him on the show, um, as a guest. And so I had him on discord, um, sometime in May, I believe I got in, in touch with him, um, May of last year. And I uh, got in touch with him and, I, and uh, I didn't tell him how much weight I had just gained and then like lost because honestly, I felt like what I had done to myself was fucking unhealthy. Um, I felt like it was stupid and I was already regretting it. I felt like I dug this awful hole for myself. And, uh, and so I just said, hey man, um, I wanna do a body transformation. I want, to, um, I want to get in shape and I was wondering if you could help me out with that. And um, the more and more we talked, the more he was like really interested in it and thought that it would be, you know, good for everyone if I did this thing. He was like, are you really serious about this? I'm like, so serious. I was like, willpower is something that I do not struggle with. When I get into something, I'm into it. And it doesn't matter if it's like Halo or it's, uh, you know, like motorcycles, which is kind of what I'm into like at this moment right now, or it's fitness. I was like, I'm down. Let's do this. And so he's like, all right, well, I have a TRT clinic. Um, you can, and he walked me through how to do everything. Derek's clinic is called Merrick health, M A R E K health, uh, com. And, uh, and so I went through them, uh, talked to the doctors there, uh, got my blood work done. My testosterone levels were a little bit low, like lower than like ideal range. And so, um, Immediately, Derek hooked me up. So I'm, I'm so thankful to Derek. I couldn't have done what I've done. And I'm going to show you some pictures in a minute. It's, I'm excited to show you the pictures. Um, I couldn't have done what I've done here without Derek being there step by step all the way. Working with Derek, uh, he was able to hook me up with a workout program, which was just instrumental. It's such a big deal to know how many reps of what to do. Like if you just go on YouTube, like everybody's trying to make a buck selling you some kind of a workout program. Most of them don't know what the hell they're talking about. And the others, like they, if they do know, they're really just trying to like get more clickbait views. So when maybe a, a bicep curl would get the job done, they're like, oh yeah, but you need to do these inverted upside down bicep, cur bicep curls and you need to use these bands that I sell. So it's just lots of BS on there. He hooked me up with a legitimate a uh, really good workout program, um, a perfect diet model, and, um, and then like the help that I got from the TRT clinic. Uh, I went on um, testosterone right away. Like as soon as I was able to get it prescribed, uh, went on the testosterone. Um, I've seen people be, they say, say like, oh, he's on Trenbolone and he's on like DECA and he's on this and that and the other. I'll tell you everything that I'm on. And uh, I think uh, people that know their shit are gonna be like super surprised how little it actually is. Um, I'm on like a maintenance dose of testosterone. Like um, it's under 200 milligrams a week. I, I, uh, I inject every day uh, to try to maintain like super steady uh, serum levels, which I don't even think Derek injects every day. I don't know anybody who does, but uh, it's, it's kind of a way of keeping myself motivated uh, I use L-carnitine, um, I think uh, a milliliter of that a day, which is a big fat syringe of carnitine. 
that you put in your butt cheek and it does not feel good. And uh, uh, L-carnitine is an amino acid. It does a couple things. It's, uh, it's an androgen receptor um, um, modifier, as far as I understand it. If you, if you Google L-carnitine injectable, you'll see like a laundry list of like the benefits you get from L-carnitine. Not the least among them are the fat burning potential, the, the way that it helps you shuttle fat uh, to the mitochondria of the cell, which is basically, uh, to like layman's term it, um, it's helping you get the fuel into the fire uh, when you're actually doing cardio. Um, little like over the counter stuff, like this, I always have to read the bottle for this stuff, Rowell scene, um, which is like a, a thing for cardio, just like an over the counter stimulant, lots of caffeine, and, um, and that's it. That, that's, that's all I've really been on. Obviously like pre-workout and shit like that. All the other stuff is over the counter. The only prescription stuff has been the testosterone uh, and the L-carnitine. And, um, and I, I know of people, not me personally, I've got prescriptions for everything that I do. Uh, but I know of people who have done uh, L-carnitine because you can just buy it because it is an amino acid and um, you know inject that shit. And I do it an hour before fasted cardio when I am doing fasted cardio or like uh, an hour before like whatever the most intense thing I'm gonna be doing that day is. But getting back to the story, now that I've kind of covered like the chemical part of, uh, of this whole process, I guess we started, yeah, the, the first picture is taken in, let's see, March, April, May, June 6th, June 6th, I think. So this is June 6th. We looking thick, boys. We looking thick. We looking thick all right thick and angry yes this is this is just disgusting mode this was so hard to achieve this was the hardest thing i did this was the hardest thing i did throughout all of this is grow this this and these and these man titties and look at the fucking look at the look look at the muscle definition look at these delts all right I can't even look at the fucking camera. I'm so ashamed. It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. So that is June uh, 2nd, like I said. Um, I've got these labeled. But uh, then, uh, this is one month later. So already, a month later. Um, and forgive me, I'm trying to like square this shit up. Still, still looking fucking chunky. Got the, got the beer belly going on. Got some, uh, got some uh, uh, love handles, which I'm always prone to anyway. But all of a sudden, like, I get a little muscle tone. In this picture, I'm already like, I think it's gonna work. I, I, I think it's, I think it's gonna work. Like, like I'm at this at this point already. I'm, I, I'm like, seeing that like we've got some potential here. Um. And then let's see. Then here is another month later. So that was July 22nd. That was July 22nd. So this one is August the 10th. Yeah, it is the same shirt. It's the exact same shirt I'm wearing now. Yeah. I like my, you know, I like my uh, uh, Cheech and Chong shirt, man. I thought it was, it's one of my favorite shirts. So then this is, uh, this is just like, can't even really see much from this. I apologize. But this one is uh, August. Hang on, let me close it so I can open it again. Yeah, August 10th. August 10th. And I've already like gotten some pretty, uh, gotten some pretty good like muscle definition going, like like, and uh, my forearms are, are looking a little bit bigger. Um, like I know it sounds silly, but you can see some veins in my hand, which is just a product. Um, no, not 2010, uh, August 10th. No, no, no. It's I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to read chat and yeah, August 10th, August 10th of last year. Um, but but still, I'm still thick. We're still thick in the middle there. Still got plenty of weight to lose and. I will say this, at this point, I'm doing no cardio. Like, like, I'll let you know when the cardio begins because at no point in this has cardio began yet. As a matter of fact, like at this point, we have, um, I guess I should have like, so, I'm, I'm sorry, it's kind of hard to like keep this whole thing straight because it's a year long process we've been doing here. But um, at, uh, at, at one point, I went and signed up for DEXA scans um, and they do like this full body scan so you can see like what your body fat percentage is. When I began, my body fat percentage was 34%. Um, I've got that documentation. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna like try to grab it. Yeah, 34%, 34%, just fucking gross mode. Um, and uh, 
I want to make sure I get it exactly right. No, no, 33.8% is where we started out with uh, at 210, or excuse me, 211 pounds. That's when, uh, that's when I went for the first scan. Now, obviously that's after like, I did that month of awful fasting and, uh, and, and got down from where we were before. But what that did, like I said, was just crush my metabolism. So what the, I also did a test called, uh, I think it's an RMR. It's a resting metabolic rate test. And they, uh, they kind of expensive, but they put this mask on you and it measures all of the oxygen that you intake and expel for uh, like several minutes. And by doing that, they're able to get your exact me metabolic rate, like how many calories you burn just sitting still doing nothing. Now, for someone like me who is like 210 or 12 pounds at that point, and uh, you know, 34, 34 or 35, whatever I was, and uh, 6'2", it should be like high 2000s, like 2,800 calories or something like that. It was 2,100 calories. I had 2,100 calories. It's like, uh, I mean, there's plenty of women who have faster metabolic rates than that. And that's what like, if you go on some kind of a starvation diet, you'll do to yourself. It's, I, 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 I'll never do that sort of shit again. It just ruins your metabolism. And then it's like a, it's not easy to like get it back. So we did that RMR, 2,100 calories um, a day. And everybody was just like, Ugh, what have you done to yourself? This is not good. This is, this is not healthy. And I was like, shit, I don't know. I didn't know this would happen. And, uh, and, but with the diet plan that Derek put me on, the idea was to get it to the point where I was eating well over 3000 calories a day, like to do this body transformation, you don't cut calories, you add calories, which is why I'm so glad I had someone like him who knew what the fuck they were talking about. Uh, so right away, even though I was only burning 2,100 calories a day, I started eating 2,500 calories a day, like right from the beginning. And pretty much every week we'd add like 50 calories and that didn't stop the whole way through until, um, I'll say this one month in, I did a second RMR. This is one month of just working out regularly, being on the L carnitine, um, the testosterone, um, you know, the, the caffeine and all the over the counter stuff. And, uh, obviously as well as like on a push, pull leg rest, uh, repeat sort of, um, regimen at the gym. I had gone uh, from 2,100 to 2,900 in 30 days. Uh, the people at the clinic were like, what'd you do? Like, what did you do? Like, like, this is like night and day difference. It's a massive, massive difference going from 2,100 to 2,900 uh, resting metabolic rate in a month. And, uh, and so that was huge right there to like getting to the composition that I was going for and like being able to add more calories into my diet because it's really hard to grow if you're not eating at a calorie surplus. But obviously I don't want to go to like 270 fucking pounds and then cut weight. Like that's outrageous. So like I said, month of that and we had gotten our uh, metabolism fixed and uh, no cardio yet. Um, this is, I want to keep these straight. Make sure I don't show you anything too soon here because it gets better as we go. So this is 722. Okay, this is 722. So I should have shown you this one before the last one but it actually gives you a better idea of like body composition, I guess. Like you can see it's still kind of round in the middle. I'll make sure I'm not covering it up with my camera. I apologize, I'm real new to this, but I'm having fun. Uh, still kind of round in the middle, still kind of round in the middle, but we've already like shaped it quite a bit. And again, like getting some pretty good muscle tone going. Uh, and this is what, like 722, so we started in June. Yeah, this is uh, less than two months in, and we've already like made a pretty fucking dramatic change. Uh, then um, July into August. Yeah, here's August 18th. August 18th, and we've trimmed down a lot. Like we're no longer like bulging out. Like like the belly is pretty much gone. We've uh, we got like a, a flat-ish stomach. We're certainly not lean. We're in, by no means lean. Um, I can even pull up. Let's see where I was right about then. I got so much documentation. This thing, every, every month I got a, another one of these. Let's see. Here we go. Yeah, at this point I'm still like 20% body fat, uh, which is like, okay, if you're a woman, uh, but not if you're a dude. But already like um, deltoids are like starting to do a little something, but this is by no means like a big dude or anything like that. This is not good shape. This is certainly not great shape. 
you know, but ways to go. Uh, but I'm already like, all right, things are working. Things are working here. All right, we're getting somewhere. Like every time, like that, that's, that's one of the things I will say that's awesome about um, the TRT and the workout program and everything combined. When you're working out and you're not seeing any results, it's so hard to stick to any kind of a program whatsoever. Like whether it's, um, whether you're just trying to do cardio and, and like drop a few pounds or you're trying to like get into shape, it's a whole lot easier to lose weight than it is to gain muscle, like light years harder um, to, to gain muscle. But when you're actually seeing results, it's really easy to stick to a program. And, uh, and, and I think that that's why I was able to like stick to things. So let's see, that was, this is three days after that picture. Uh, and it's just a better angle. So let's see. So yeah, just pretty, I'm already like building quite a bit of muscle here, like, like getting pretty thick, getting pretty thick. I, uh, I showed these pictures to my cousin back then and he was just like, that's what I want. That's what I want to be right there. And I was like, ah, I don't know, man, it's still pretty chunky, pretty chunky brother. And he's like, nah, man, that's what I want. This isn't long after my eye surgery, by the way, too. That's why I look all wonky. Uh, yeah, and that, that's the other thing, like, it wasn't smooth sailing throughout this whole thing. I had the cancer in my freaking eye, um, not a good place to have it, by the way. And then I dropped that butcher's knife on my foot. I don't know if you guys remember me talking about that, but, um, I, I limped into the gym that night. Um, I limped into the gym that night, um, with one crutch and my foot in one of those plastic things, like all, all bandaged up and bloody. And uh, I just remember, like, I see the same guys at the gym every night. And they're just like, bro, what are you doing here? And I'm like, I can't skip a day. I can't skip a day. They're like, what happened? I dropped a fucking knife on my foot. So I, I limped into the gym, and we got the workout that night and every night thereafter. Uh, I, don't, I think we missed two nights um, throughout this whole thing. Uh, two workouts, like, in the course of 11 months that I missed. So here is September the 5th. This is... Let's see, this is, we this is about two weeks after the last photo. Already, we're, now, I'm, now I'm actually thinking like, things are looking pretty freaking good. Um, I, I've slimmed down a bunch, and my, now I have biceps for like the first time in my life. I've got like some like actually pretty imposing biceps. Um, the deltoids aren't exactly what I would call 3D, but I think for the average dude, they're pretty big. Traps are looking gnarly. Like, like already traps are like doing stuff. And I, there's a lot of androgen receptors in your traps. I think that's uh, a big part of that. And I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great at this point. Like, like th at this point, I'm just so motivated. I'm loving the gym. And uh, I think it was right around this point where like after one of our uh, podcasts, Woody was like, are, are, are you on steroids? <laughs> like, like are, are you on something? Because like he could tell just by like, I don't know, just like, me, me sitting on the show, like he could tell that like something was up. Uh, and I think also like, like whenever it would come up as a topic on the show, like, uh, performance enhancing drugs or like clinics or uh, TRT or, or weightlifting or anything like that, it, it kind of became more and more clear that I had been doing a little research. So, uh, he, he caught on right about then. So this is September the 16th. So let's see how much this is another 11 days later. Getting much thicker now. Now I've got a, I finally, for the first time ever, have like visible bicep vein. Um, visible bicep vein right here. And uh, just real thick, real fucking thick at this point. This is at the point where I'm wearing, um, this is a large shirt, by the way. I think that's kind of relevant. Like it's, uh, I'm wearing a size large there. It's not like an XL or anything crazy like that. And uh, I'm already like, how big am I going to get here? Like, like, it, you know, we're like, let's see, June, July, August, September. Uh, and this is September. Yeah. We're like three and a half months in and I'm like, we're getting kind of big boys. We're getting kind of big here. Uh, I don't know. We're, we're getting kind of big here. So this is another, let's see, that was September 16th. This is September the 26th. So September 26th. And I'm like, kind of the look on my face is like, all right. All right. Now we are, uh, now we're getting leaner. Now we're getting kind of lean here. Like, like, like every month I'm, I'm, I'm losing like one or 2% of my body fat, uh, not from any form of cardio. 
And that's with my diet, adding calories continuously, always more calories. Like at this point, I'm eating about 28 to 2,900 calories a day. And uh, that might not sound like a lot if you like, maybe your diet isn't so clean, but uh, my diet, and I could go over that like maybe later, but my diet is lean beef, um, like 96 to 97% lean, almost no fat, white rice, um, and stuff like that. Vet, like, like not many vegetables, uh, like lots of spinach, but it's to, to eat 20 to eat 3000 calories of that a day. Um, at one point I was eating two pounds of beef a day, um, to like hit my macros, not just to hit my macros, to hit my calorie goals. I was eating two pounds of beef and something like two and a half, maybe three cups of white rice cooked. Um, plus like everything else. Like, like there's a lot of like little things that go in, like, like there's eggs and stuff for breakfast. It's a ridiculous diet program that I was on. I, it, it was hard to, that, um, I'll say this, the diet was the, the second hardest thing I think I did. I think that at, at least I think if, if someone was trying to duplicate this, I think that they would find it much easier to like get in the gym and do the work, uh, than it is to get in the kitchen and actually eat that third meal of the day when you just do not fucking want it. Like when you've already had, like you're still digesting breakfast and it's time for lunch. And you're like, all right, let me get that down. You're still digesting that and it's time for like second lunch and then luncheon and fucking first dinner and second dinner. I'm eating four meals a day plus a snack and getting the food down was obnoxious. Like, like if you're eating shit, like if you're eating ice cream and pizza, dude, you can eat 5,000 calories a day. I did it when I was eating, like when I was like bulking for this, all right, I got, <laughs> bulking is generous. Um, when I was just like going ham, um, and becoming ham, uh, I, I, uh, it was easy to eat 5,000 calories a day. If you're eating burgers and fries, not only is it fucking delicious, but like, it's just not a lot of food when you're just eating pure fat, when you're eating lean beef and white rice and spinach and bell peppers and the sort of stuff that's in my current diet plan and in the diet plan that I've been using the last, uh, for the 11 months that this transformation took place in, it's ridiculous. It's, it, it's nuts. So where were we? I don't wanna, I keep slowing down a little bit, but I think it's important to like give you these little tidbits as we go. This is September the 2nd. And uh, just, just like at this point, I think it's the first time I ever flexed in a picture when I was like, holy shit, we've kind of got a muscle going on. We're kind of, we can make a muscle now. Like, like I'm not, I'm not one to like flex. Like I, I feel like it's kind of douchey. And I've, if I'm being honest, I've always kind of thought that like bodybuilding in general was kind of douchey. Like I'm a big Arnold Schwarzenegger fan. Like I love that shit growing up. But like the part, the thing I didn't like about Arnold was all the bodybuilding stuff. You know what I mean? Like I like the Terminator. I don't know about the guy who's wearing the little bikini thing and he's, you know, working out all the time. I don't know about that. But like, I really developed a passion for this shit as we went. And I, I don't feel like that now. I, I would never like fucking get on a stage in a goddamn bikini. But um, yeah, this is the first picture I, I was just like, we flexing on them now, boys. It was just like, we, this is an actual muscle that we can make. I think at this point, my biceps are around 17 inches, roughly um, at, at this point, which is like nothing crazy, um, but, but pretty big. And uh, let's see, where was that? Okay, I'm just trying to keep these all in order. I don't want to skip ahead because that's no fun. Let's see, September the 5th, September the 26th. Where's the one where I just showed you where place? Okay, that's, that was September the 2nd. Okay. September, yeah, okay. September 16th. I'm going to go a little faster through them now. Uh, I just showed you that one. I just showed them out of order. Don't worry about that. Uh, okay, skipping forward to October. So this is another uh, five weeks after the last picture. This is like five weeks after the last picture. And we getting saucy. We getting saucy, boys. Like, like we're getting thick as a fucking Snickers, all right? As Landmark would say, this is frozen Snickers territory. Look at a little chubby in the face. I'll admit, I'll admit. That's because we're eating 3,300 fucking calories a day and fucking pumping iron, though. We've got the bicep vein. Our shoulders are just like a fucking, I don't even know, just outrageous, super wide. Forearms are starting to kick in now. They're starting to get some veins in the forearms. Like, like they're getting like thick, like, like from here to here, 
is fucking yoked. It's nuts. Yeah, neck. This is where my neck disappeared for a few months. <laughs> Somebody said, "Where's your fucking neck?" So yeah, this is where my neck disappeared for a few months. And uh, let's see. Here is, let's see. That was that was um, October, November. Yeah, that was November the eighth. That's November. Let me make sure I get them right. This is for science. Okay, so September sixteenth. I showed you that, and then. I'll start putting them in order so I don't fuck up so bad. October the 26th. Yeah, this is, this is October 26th. Okay, cool. Uh, so this is about, not about, this is uh, 12 days later. And even I'm just like, oh my. I like look up to take the picture and I'm like, oh, hey there, gigantic person. What the fuck is going on here? And uh, still though, still, we've still got chunk. We've still got chunk on board 100% like like we're, we're at, at this point we're probably um 19% body fat 20% body fat body fat didn't change for a long time because we just kept adding the calories um people think that like you add a couple pounds of muscle and that muscle is like gonna burn hundreds of calories a day on its own like your 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 basal metabolic is just gonna skyrocket it's a paltry amount of calories that you burn extra from adding excuse me, from adding a little bit of muscle. So still chunky here, 100%. Um, and then here we are at 11.22. This is September the 22nd. And again, just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Oh, how much do I weigh here? Um, so when I began in June, I was, uh, according to my DEXA scan results, their scale is like a pound uh, off. But according to my DEXA, I'm right around 211, 212 when I started, um, like on the workout program, like, like on the, the TRT and Derek's program, I'm, I'm about 212. I immediately went up to 220, to 220 or 225 maybe, because um, we're adding the calories and, it, and um, because of, it's, it, it's like three different things that are happening. I'm adding some fat because I'm eating so much. I'm adding some muscle, but that's probably the lowest number. And um, I'm also like storing water because of like the increased amount of testosterone that's in my system. So those things, th those three, three things are combining to make me look a little puffy, to make me look like really filled out. And it's at this point where um, I'm getting super fucking strong too. This is, um, yeah, this is, someone just asked when this was. This is September 22nd, September 22nd of last year. Um, and I got my Fight Milk shirt on for bodyguards, by bodyguards. Also got my Pokemon trainer gloves on before anybody makes fun of them, all right? I gotta catch them all and I won't, I'm not ashamed of it, all right? Deal with it. So this is the point where I was like, I wonder how strong I am. And uh, I just, uh, m there's no flat bench in my workout program at all. Um, I do um, incline bench and um, everything else is uh, mostly dumbbells as far as like upper body compound movements. But um, there was a guy there that night benching kind of heavy. And, uh, and I was like, hey, man, can I sit in? I'd like to like just see what I can max out at. And uh, he had 305 on. And I sat down and cranked out 5, 305 and uh, racked that, that bitch up. And I just like, it was like that scene in Unbreakable where he like turns around and he's like, how much was that? And the little kid's like, all of it. <laughs> and he's like, that's the most I ever did before. <laughs> I was just like, the most I'd ever lifted was like, like what I did for reps. Like, like I would do like 180, um, three by 12 on incline bench. And, uh, so like that was the most I had been lifting because it, 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 you know, that that's kind of where I was at that point. But like maxing out on flat bench, I was just like, holy shit, we can get 300. And then it was like, we can get it again and again and again. Now, when I was done, it had absolutely ruined my workout for that night, but it was like such an ego boost um, or confidence boost, I should say, for like future workouts to know that like I had just built that kind of strength in a few months. Um, yeah, super strong right here. Um, and this is September 22nd. Here we are uh, a week later, um, a week later, and uh, had, to, had, to, had to throw up the double biceps. 
because um, some I was uh, usually when I take these pictures, uh, I'm not. I feel like I look like a douchebag, but I'm not going for douchebag mode. It's usually like I'm at the gym and somebody's like, "What are you doing?" And so like I'll just send them a picture uh, like like this, like show them what I'm up to, and uh, and so yeah, I think my biceps look pretty good here. My tries are looking kind of weak. Uh, chest and shoulders looking pretty decent. Forearms are looking gnarly. Like forearms are, are like like I have some kind of genetic thing with my forearms where they just like. I don't know. I do a ton of farmer's walks and, uh, and they're pretty fucking strong. I, I gotta say, um, most of my strongest stuff involves like forearm stuff. It's, it's kind of, it's kind of cool. And I think they look pretty good. Uh, shirts don't fit me though. Um, like button up shirts. Like I can't like leave my sleeves down anymore because there aren't shirts that fit me. Um, that aren't, unless I get a, a like a tailored shirt. Here is December the 7th, December the 7th. Oh, got this. <laughs> We're giving you the blue steel here, apparently. I haven't looked at these pictures in so long. We're going full blue steel mode here. Uh, in reality, I think I'm just tired as fuck. <laughs> I think I'm just tired as fuck. Um, I, I, uh, that's the other thing. I'm doing all these workouts at three in the morning because we're like right in the middle of pandemic. And like there was no way I was going to like go into a full gym of people uh, in the middle of the day. So these are all 3 a.m. gyms. I had to completely flip my sleep schedule and maintain it for the last 11 months. Um, so I would wake up at 5 p.m., start my day, go to the gym at uh, 2 or 3 a.m., and, uh, and then carry that on through. And the sleep was a big part of it. You absolutely have to get your 8, 9, 10 hours of sleep if you're going to, like, maximize your growth potential to, like, make this shit work. So, yeah, that's a douchey-ass photo, though. Um, let's see. Oh, this is the one where I sent this picture to someone, and they were like... What the fuck? Someone just said your arms don't look that big though. I think they look pretty big, dude. I think they look pretty big. I don't know. Just me. I think it looks pretty big. You know? So this is uh, January. This is uh, breaking into, right? Let me make sure. Double confirm that. Because it says on the photos. Yeah, January 2nd. Um, so it's at this point where I'm at my absolute biggest. Um, this is right before the weight cut begins. Um, I, I start my weight cut on this day. Weight cutting is awful. Um, the program completely changed at this point. Uh, I think this is right around the time when we started cutting calories out of my diet slowly, like a, a few at a time, and we started adding cardio in. Uh, and I did fasted cardio, which meant, if you don't know, it, it means you're doing cardio when you're starving. Like as soon as you wake up, you've got a completely empty stomach. Um, I would take my L-carnitine shot. I would take um, this Rowell scene, um, this uh, like over-the-counter pill stuff. And it's, an, it's another stimulant that's supposed to help with fasted cardio. Uh, I take my caffeine and I would get on the elliptical. And at first I was doing... And this is kind of roughly, but I was doing roughly like 20 minutes a day, um, which isn't bad at all. Um, so, but but I, I would do my 20 minutes of fasted cardio a day. And then um, the weight is beginning to like start coming off at this point. So every picture after this, I am getting leaner and leaner and leaner. So this is the picture that some of you I'm sure have already seen. This is one month later, one month later. And we are just like, all right, we're a different human being now, boys. We're a different, oh, you want me to flex? You want me to flex for the audience? Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> oh no, I bumped something. Oh, please come back on monitor. All right, it did, it did. All right, so this is, this is, this is one of my favorite ones because it's at this point when I'm like, we can do it. It's like that scene from the matrix, right? He's beginning to believe. <laughs> it's at this point where I am fucking beginning to believe. And like between like at the end of every PKA, like Woody and Taylor are like, dude, when can we talk about this? When can we talk about it? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not an that great. I like pop my shirt off and they're like, what the fuck are you anymore? What is that? Cause like, there's just veins popping everywhere. This is a month of cardio and this is a month of cutting my diet from 30, 
I think I was up to 35, 3,600 calories a day. Um, and this is like cutting it down to about 3,300, 3,200 a day and, uh, and getting that cardio in. And another thing I'll say about cardio, not only, um, the only cardio I did before January of this year was, um, 10 minute walks after every meal, which adds up when you're doing four meals a day. Uh, and it helps with digestion too. Um, so I would do this 10 minute walks and it would add up to, you know, 40 minutes walk a day, figure out the steps. I don't really remember. I didn't really count steps until like this part of the, the thing. That's why I got this, uh, that douchey ass elect, um, Samsung watch. Cause it keeps up with my steps and keeps up with my cardio heartbeats and all that shit. So already at that point, I'm like, we can do it. I, I'm absolutely beginning to believe at that point. Let's see. That was, oh, I skipped one, boys. I skipped one on you. So like rewinding a month from that, this is where I was. So like I, I'll do them like back to back. Actually, I think it's kind of fun to show like, like a progression, right? Hang on. Let me get three of them open. That's January, February, March. Um, and, and it's just like, you can see the, just the fat melting the fuck off. And, oh, is my face cam, my face cam's covering it a bit? Sorry about that. Let me, uh, let me try to help you out a little. Yeah, it's better. All right. So yeah, January, the, uh, January, February, March. Okay. Like you can see, like, and, and I want to say this, like for anybody who's like interested in, um, uh, in like getting into this and like doing this. Cause I know there's plenty of people who aren't in ideal shape. Um, and maybe like, you know, the pandemic was rough. A lot of people like you couldn't get out. It was hard to like get your cardio in and, uh, it was rough on people. Uh, and you're, maybe you're in a position where you'd like to cut off a little weight. This is easily done. Like this is easily done. It's just every day you do it again. You don't cheat. I, I, I joke about Postmates. Postmates hasn't been on my phone in a year, boys. I don't eat Postmates. I, I cook every fucking meal I eat. Like y'all got to understand when something is a bit for the show and something is like a part of somebody's lifestyle because like you don't eat Postmates and do this. If you think you can, if you think you can, then you're better at it than I am. And I think I'm okay at it. Um, but this is, like I said, January, February, March. And we're not even there yet. Okay. So let me uh, keep pulling these up. So yeah, uh, this is the end of March. Okay. That, that last March picture, the one, uh, this one here, this is March 8th, by the way. This is um, 70 days from the really bulky light blue uh, picture. This is um, 20 days after that, 20 days after that. And we're like, no longer are we puffy in the face anymore. Like we've, we've trimmed all the fat away from here. Like now we've got like, um, like visible muscle fiber in our delt. The, uh, our, my bicep doesn't have one vein in, any, in it anymore. It's got multiples. Uh, my forearms are just like fucking dick skin over here, just ripped up with like crazy veins. Stomach's gone. All right. Like this is where like, um, a, uh, love handle would be. It's gone. This is all back. Now my back is, you can see here getting pretty, pretty crazy, pretty gnarly. Uh, and, uh, and I'm already like, like, this is not my like blue steel intensity face. This is my, I am in so much pain face. I, I'm so miserable here because I'm not eating enough. I'm, I'm literally starving my body down and, and just going and going and going. Like, like I'm, I'm at this point, no, I'm not doing 20 minutes of cardio a day anymore. I'm doing 45 minutes of cardio a day, every day, fasted cardio. And just getting through it is getting kind of hard. I just put my headset on, turn my music on, and uh, I just grind at this point. I'm just grinding away the uh, the cardio. And when I get home and like get my shower, get my bath or whatever, I'm so happy it's over. 
but I know there's a workout coming that night anyway. So it's like, you just gotta like refuel and get going again. So this is end of March, I believe. Yeah, end of March there. And this is about a week later. So this is a week after that picture. And this is when I was just like, all right, man, I think we might have gotten uh, kind of big, boys. Uh, I think we might have gotten kind of big here. Uh, we're, we're getting we're getting large and in charge here already. Um, we're, we're at this point we're like tanning a bunch too, um, and and doing a bunch of other nonsense, but getting super ripped in here. Um, like like forearms, biceps, everything. Neck is getting a little thicker. Um, I got my neck thickening salve for that. And we got full six pack abs at this point. Um, I mean, we're there. I think this is where a lot of people would like ideally be. I think it's where I, it's, 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 it's roughly where I am now. I'm a little bit heavier than that now. Cause I've been, I, at, when I, when I finally hit my goal, I went right into a bulk immediately. I'm about, um, I've got a six pack right now and I'm about 10 pounds heavier, um, than like my leanest pictures that I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is, uh, let's see, level 28. Yeah, we showed you that. Okay, now things get fun. So the day finally came. Um, I had set my, uh, my goal to be 11 months. Um, so we started on June 2nd. And so this, uh, these next pictures all happened on May the 3rd. Um, so a week before my birthday this year, this is me a week before turning 35 years old. I began um, prepping for like final pictures and uh, I talked to Derek about it and I was like, you know, like, well, I think he said it. He was like, you know, if you're going to go all the way, you could just treat this like a bodybuilding competition and do like a legitimate weight cut going into this thing. You know, like, like, like the way, you know, dehydrating yourself, like you're a freaking bodybuilder or an MMA fighter. Um, and, uh, and like really like get like, into perfection mode or as per close to perfect as like you can get at that moment um, to like peak at, for, for five minutes, right? And so we started. So, and again, it's Merrick Health. Somebody, I saw somebody ask what his clinic is. It's M-A-R-E-K. So I want to say it took, I, I did like a two day uh, cut. So I stopped drinking on, let's just call it a Monday. I stopped drinking water on Monday. I didn't drink any water Monday. Maybe like a sip, like if my, if my throat was like super dry. I still did all of my workouts. I did everything. Um, and then Tuesday came around, Tuesday morning, and I didn't really feel too thirsty. I was okay. So I had like maybe a tiny little sip of water after that. And that's the point where I got on my exercise bike in my full sweats um, with a sweat vest on. It's like wearing a rubber suit, like a fucking gimp suit. And... I just started doing fasted, no water cardio. Um, and I did it all day. And whenever I would get like worn out and I felt a little bit like dizzy or lightheaded, I would go get in a hot fucking bath, like 105 degrees. And I'd put five pounds of Epsom salt in there to draw even more water out of my body. Cause we want to get as grainy and dehydrated looking as we possibly can. Cause this is the last day of like, go, go mode. Like after this, we get to add calories back. We're going back into a bulk mode. Now we can build muscle because I don't know if I mentioned this, but between January and May, I really didn't gain any muscle or strength. I, I maintained what I had built between June and uh, the end of December. I maintained all of that and um, cut fat. Cause lately, I mean, you know, if you're familiar with like how this works, that's kind of how bodybuilding and Anything else like this works, like you're, you bulk for a, for a period of time and then you cut that fat off. Um, you hear people talk about main gaining. I'm not going to tell anybody how to do anything. If you ask me for my opinion, though, whether, whether one is better than the other, I would just say the proof is in the pudding. And uh, here's a little pudding here. This is, uh, this is between one of my bike rides and my... Um, and uh, the a salt bath. This is me right out of the salt bath. And it's just, I, I, I mean, I don't even know. Like, like the veins here, 
it's just a spider web. There's no fat left. Um, this is 8.5% body fat. I got a DEXA scan on this day. Uh, this is 8.5%. Um, you would see like a top end, like professional bodybuilder at around 5%, I believe. Um, so we're not at that level yet. Um, and I would never want to go any leaner than this. And I certainly wouldn't want to try to maintain anything like this because this is not conducive to, um, I don't know, a happy, healthy lifestyle. I think 10% is much more like easily maintainable thing. But this is 8.4. This is 8.4%. And like everywhere that like fat would ever, would ever congregate, it's gone. Like, like the muscle striations that you're seeing here are just nutty. Um, you know, like, like, I don't know how else to say it. Like, this isn't some sort of Photoshop nonsense. This is just what my goddamn abs look like. This isn't like that Gerard Butler shit where they like took some airbrush and like gave him some abs for 300. They're just that deep. They're just like, you can reach in and like, they're like Ninja Turtle fucking abs at this point. So the day continued. That was like noon. That was like noon of that day. Um, and this is, and so these next four pictures are finale mode. This is when I have completed my weight cut. At this point, I weigh 173 pounds. I went from uh, a high of around 240 to all the way down to 173. This is my final form. Um, this is just a back shot. Um, and you can see just like, I don't know, you see every muscle group in my back pretty much. Um, you can just, you can see my, my like triceps from the back, my biceps from the back, just veins everywhere. Uh, I like that picture. <laughs> and um, here we are, like, like I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I look unhealthy, it's because I am in this picture. I'm not feeling well. This is me feeling awful. This is me feeling terrible. This is me having not had a drop of water for uh, 48 hours and having done about 25 or 30 uh, miles on an exercise bike, and I've taken about six or seven very hot baths. Got those fucking Adonis lines though, boys. The cum gutters, as the uninitiated would say. And uh, they are deep, and they are expansive, and they just go right on down to the dick root. I, won't, I was gonna show some dick root. Everybody's been hyped for the dick root, but I can't do it. I can't do it. That's gonna be on a different website. And then just, again, just, I think like my weakest thing is definitely my chest. And that has been like my main focus throughout this uh, like current phase that I'm doing right now. I've doubled up on chest stuff. Um, but again, just crazy veins in my biceps, uh, ridiculous striations here in my core. Um, again, with the Adonis lines and forearms just looking nutty uh, and feeling like dog shit. Just feeling the worst I've ever felt in my life. And uh, when I was done like flexing for these photos, I was, um, I was like trembling. I was like shaking from like exhaustion and like out of breath. I was so glad it was over. It was like the end of Lord of the Rings or something. It was like, it's finally over. I was so glad when it was finally over. So yeah, that is that. That's, um, that has been um, what I have been keeping secret for uh, well over a year now, I uh, it was an 11th month um, progress from this to uh, this. Let me make sure I show you. Wasn't that hard. I'm lying. It was so goddamn hard. It was so goddamn hard. It was so goddamn hard. It was, there were so many times, there were so many times when, um, when I wanted to quit, um, when I wanted it to be over and, uh, I, I, I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. I was, I was, I was like, we've, we've come this far. It was one of those things. You want to see legs? There's no way to show legs without like showing you way too much dick. And I feel like it's so douchey. My legs are, my legs are big. Um, they, they match everything else. We do a, a push pull leg split. So, um, you know, squat, deadlift, 
all sorts of Bulgarian split squats and stuff. I'll never have calves like uh, like like Woody does though. I, I don't know, I don't know how he fucking does it. And I am not taking my shirt off. No, you have to. We'll have to wait till I can get don donations in here or, uh, or or something like that before I'm gonna start getting shirtless on camera. Um, I don't need that in my life. I'm not a stripper, boys. Uh, like we may have to stop, open up an OnlyFans or something like that. Um, but uh, but yeah, I'm not I'm not taking my shirt off. Goodness gracious, I'm not doing that. Next PK topless. Maybe, maybe. Not a stripper yet. No, no. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah. That that that's been the. Uh, that's been the last. Uh, yeah, TRT. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Injuries. Um. Yeah. Uh. So I hurt my. Um. Obviously, I. I. I there was a time when I dropped the knife on my foot, but that's not really a like a, a workout related injury. Uh, I popped something in my shoulder at one point doing um, some reverse um, reverse flies, like like a, like um, like rear delt work. Like so you're sort of like pull, bent over and kind of pulling uh, dumbbells back away from your body, back away from the ground if you're bent over. And something like snapped or popped or tweaked. I heard it. It was audible in my shoulder. And it really hurt. And it scared me a lot because – you know, I can't really afford an injury in the middle of this thing. It'll slow me down and cause all kinds of issues. But it healed up in about six or eight days. I just kind of, I didn't do any rear delt work the, uh, the, the next time it came around. And, uh, and it was fine. Um, my knee popped one time. Um, like, like I let my knee kind of bent backwards once. And same thing. I just stayed off of it for a week. And, and it healed up really nicely. But other than that, like I didn't have any like... Um, any like real bad injuries, like, like nothing crazy. Am I afraid of gaining fat back when I get to Colorado? No, not at all. Because like the thing is like, it's, it's super easy to like maintain this at, at this point. Um, and, uh, that's not only because I've got such a passion now for like the workout program, um, and like, uh, and, and looking pretty good in the mirror when I get out of the shower. But, uh, but I, it's also like, I like cooking the food that I eat now. Like I just don't eat, I don't, it, I, I still eat like super clean. I'm eating clean right now. It's mostly like lean beef, chicken, um, vegetables, uh, lots of, lots of bell peppers, lots of spinach, lots of white rice. It's just impossible to get fat on that stuff. Um, it, it, it's honestly hard to hit as many calories as I want to hit. I've been adding more calories, um, since, uh, like I said, those pictures are from May and, uh, we're in August now. So for the last three months I've been bulking again. Um, I've been, I've been trying to add more muscle and more strength. And, uh, I, I switched up my routine just a little bit. I added more flat bench and I added more, um, more chest stuff. Cause I felt like my chest just didn't look very good. I felt like it's kind of underdeveloped, but everything else looks, looks really good to me. And, uh, and so, yeah, um, not afraid of gaining weight accidentally. I'm afraid, I, I, I'm afraid of not gaining as much weight as I'm trying to gain. Cause it's so hard to eat all the food that I'm eating right now. I'm actually about to start another weight cut. I figured um, it's 60 days from now until I go on vacation. And, uh, and I think I'll get like, probably not hyper lean, probably not like, like we're not going to like, I could go this far. I, I, I could get back to there pretty easy. Um, that, that'll take that, that would take a month of like just dieting a little bit. Um, I can get right back to there. But, um, but yeah, I, I think I'm going to do uh, another 60, uh, 60 day cut. Uh, I've already started it. I've already like cut you know, a hundred calories out of my, my diet. And I added a uh, fast cardio yesterday, uh, back into the workout program. So yeah, getting going. The cost, um, not too bad. It's not too bad. Uh, so different things cost different. I'll tell you what the most expensive thing is. The most expensive thing is the food. Um, because le extra lean ground beef is expensive and it's like that and bison are like my two meats of choice. And they're like seven to ten dollars a pound. And when you're right in the middle of the bulk and you're eating two pounds of that a day, I mean, you can do the math when you're when you're eating fifteen to twenty pounds or fifteen to twenty dollars of just beef a day, and then all everything else that goes with it. That's the most expensive part is the diet. Um, little things like like the TRT is is very cheap. Um, it's very cheap, and uh, like getting started, obviously you've got to go through like blood work. And, um, you've got to go through like some initial like stuff. And, uh, I, I don't, I don't know, but I think it's, 
It's more than $600. It's less than $1,000. I'll just be very vague because um, my, my cousin just did it. Um, that's another thing. Like, if you're wondering if I would recommend this to somebody else, I, my cousin's like my brother. I, I love him more than anybody in the world. And, uh, and he was like, man, you're looking good. How do I get me some of that? And I was like, dude, hit up my friend, Derek, check out his clinic. Um, go get your blood work. And he did. And, uh, I, I, Scotty is getting yoked. Like he's three or four months in right now. And he's gone from like a little puffy, just a little, like you'd never look at him and be like, that's a fatty. You'd look at him and be like regular dude, big and, and, and bigger than average. Like, like he's, uh, he's about as tall as I am. Um, He's getting pretty fucking yoked. Uh, he's he's I've put, I've got him on my diet program, my workout program, and all of my supplements. Um, and by supplements, I mean stuff like the Rowel scene, the um, the pre workout, um, the caffeine uh, stuff like that. And uh, and he has I, I've had a other a couple other people like that that I sort of like quote unquote coached. And look, it's hard to stick to this sort of thing. Not everybody is up for like every bit of this but um a lot of them have quit as i guess is what i'm trying to say without without being uh being shitty about it a lot of them have quit but they didn't get on the trt and i feel like that's uh that's the cornerstone of this whole thing is like getting the results from everything else you're doing you know like, like seeing those results keep you mo keep you so motivated and uh and so yeah scott is getting huge um and by um i told him that like five months in it like, like, you know, we looked at my pictures. It was about five months in when it was like, oh shit, you're bigger. You're, you're a lot bigger. And I, and so that's what I told him like five months in and he's going to be ridiculous. Will smoking weed again affect my plan? Um, I don't see how it could. Oh no. Um, I'll answer your question next. Um, take caffeine pills or what? Yeah. Um, lots of questions. So let me, uh, one at a time, uh, smoking weed, if anything, will make it so much easier to do this because it'll help with the appetite during bulking, uh, stuff. Because I think what I'm going to do, I just kind of bulked for three months here. Um, my strength levels went, went up again, um, to the point where like my incline bench is getting close to 200 pounds, um, like three sets of 12. Um, my, my tricep pull downs, um, I'm doing like, I do three sets of 12 for just about everything or three sets of 15 sometimes. So it's lightweight. And I get that like light is varies from individual to individual. So it's like, but it's lots of reps. I'll say that. Um, but with like tricep cables, I'm putting, um, shit, how much is it? Like 150, like 150 to 160 pounds. And I do that 45 times, you know, like, 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 those are strength gains for me that I've seen over like the last three months now that I've added these calories back in and I'm like hitting it hard. Um, and so like, I think I want to do this little weight cut, like a little mini weight cut, just so I'm looking nice and trim for, uh, for Colorado, break out the six pack for the boys in the hot tub. And, uh, and then when I get back from Colorado, I think I'm going to, um, get back with Derek and, uh, work out another like program. Like, like, um, now that I'm a little bit better at lifting weights and I know a lot more about, um, diet and exercise and all that stuff. I think it's time to do like another serious, like eight to 10 month bulk. Um, I don't want to be like some sort of freak of fucking nature. Don't get me wrong. Like, I don't want to be like 220 pounds, like lean as fuck. Like that's just too big. It's gross looking to me. If I'm being honest, um, like, like some of those pictures I showed you are gross to me. Like it's too lean. Um, so they're like, like, there's a, like we would show, Woody would show his wife, Jackie, these, these photos of me, like veins popping and like all sorts of shit, like just, just sunken in. And she's just like, no, no. And Woody's like, you don't understand. This is, this is, this is what he's going for. This is the shit. And she's like, nah, I don't know about that. And he's like, yeah, but he doesn't look like that all the time. This is when he's got a pump and he's all shiny. And, but, the, but there's some truth to it though. You know, like, like there's, there's what dudes think is attractive and what women think are, is attractive. And, uh, I think something more like 10% body fat is what women find more attractive. Whereas dudes are just like that dude's tired of a dick skin. Look at that shit. Like, like dudes can get into like veins being everywhere and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, the, um, no, I absolutely did not. What, Jackie thought I was, Jackie thinks I look gross when I'm all, when I'm all ripped up like that. 
Jack, Jackie's got the calf king over there. Okay, she she's not interested. In, she's got eyes for no one else. Get it, get it, get it, get it straight. Uh, probation officer? No, everything I take is like a prescription, um, legal. You know, like it's no different than um, you know any of my other prescriptions. Uh, when someone asked if I took uh, Adderall, absolutely not. Um, I don't take Adderall for like three different reasons. One, it's not healthy. It's just not for your heart. Um, two. Oh, as much as I do like being on it, like, like when I, cause I've, I've had prescriptions for it in the past. Um, it fucks with your appetite and it, it would have been really hard to like get, even when I've got my calories cut down for the weight cut, I'm still eating 2,500 or 2,600 calories a day. It would be hard to eat that many calories of clean food on Adderall. So it was just a, no, it was just a no go. Plus like, um, it makes you test positive for methamphetamine. Uh, when you're on Adderall to give you an idea of just exactly what you're giving your kids that are in like eighth grade when you're giving them Adderall. Um, so yeah, no Adderall, just caffeine. And someone asked what caffeine, uh, it doesn't matter. The cheapest kind of caffeine you get off of um, Amazon, like that big ass bottle of caffeine pills. Uh, and you start small and your goal with cardio is to get your heart rate. And this depends on your age, right? But for me, it, it was to get my heart rate to 130 beats per minute and hold it um, for the entire workout. Um, I didn't start counting my minutes of cardio until my heart rate was at 130 beats per minute. And so that's why I like something like caffeine and the rowel scene are so important because you don't want to be sitting there for like 30 minutes getting your heart like sped up to 130 and, and then do 45 minutes or an hour's worth of cardio, which is what I was doing at the end. I was doing an hour a day uh, of cardio a day, a fasted cardio a day. Not fun. Your heart rate goes to 130 standing up. I want to get that looked at. Can I give you the PPL split? Oh man, it would take so long. Um, obviously it's like, uh, it's a lot of fucking stuff every day, right? It's a lot of stuff every day that you're doing. Um, I don't know how many set it's, uh, it's three sets of 12, but it's like five or six different exercises every day. Like you don't, you, uh, you do push one, pull, pull one, uh, leg one and then rest and then you repeat it again or you don't repeat it again you do a different push pull leg uh, the, the the second part of the week it would take too long to go into um, I don't know I, I've done that for a few people who are like interested in getting into shape um, and like like really broken it down for them but it, it's 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 a lot to go into you'll buy it <sighs> be coach Kyle Am I allowed to buy firearms again? No, of course not. How do I feel about the Tinder leaks? Um, well, like, they kind of, I, I was trying to like, I was gonna do the reveal either this week or like one week after this. I, I've been trying to get my YouTube password uh, recovered. So I kind of, you know, I, I went ahead and did it because like that had already happened. Um, but, uh, but I would have liked it more if that hadn't happened so that I could have gotten my YouTube recovered. Um, right now I've only got the password to my second channel. So I think I'm going to put some stuff over there, but, uh, yeah, um, I should probably tweet at YouTube. Uh, I think maybe next stream I'll, I'll get everybody going to like help me retweet a tweet to YouTube to see if they can help me recover my password. Cause I don't have the password to uh, my FBS Russia channel and, uh, Google support cannot help me. It would seem, dude, you're not even kidding. He, he said, um, he's surprised I was able to carve an hour out of my 16 hour Rust streams or a rust play sessions, I would, I literally had to like, like we would be playing rust and, and I'd be like, boys, I got to go for two hours. Uh, they're like, what are you talking about? You got to go for, I was like, I got to go, got to go. I'll be back as soon as I can. It was actually a problem because I was playing a lot of rust, like, um, kind of in the middle of this whole workout thing. Get laid easier. Chicks don't care, man. Chicks don't care. Like, like even when I was like super chunky, I ain't, chicks didn't care. Um, to be honest, like, like, I think, uh, I think maybe I'm, um, uh, like, like more interested in sex. Like, like I'm like super horny all the time with the TRT, if I'm being honest. But, uh, but like, I didn't have any heart. I didn't have a hard time getting laid when I was, when I was in chunk mode either. They a hundred percent care. That's fair. I, uh, the, the ones I know didn't care. They're, they're like, I don't know. You look all right. Yeah, they didn't mind. mind. They didn't mind. I think personality goes a long way. Yes, that's why I wear the jacket on every PKA. That's why I wear like multiple layers so that uh, you wouldn't notice. You wouldn't notice. Nope, no hair loss. Um, 
I, uh, I take uh, I take finasteride. I added finasteride as a preemptive. Um, and I, I told my cousin to do the same thing. And I would recommend to anyone else that they speak to their doctor about finasteride. Uh, it's just a pill you take every day that prevents hair loss. Because if you're going to, the way it was explained to me by my doctor is that if you have a genetic predisposition to hair loss, for example, your dad went bald at 40 um, or 50 even. And even if you're in your 30s and you start on TRT, it can sort of like skip ahead and be like, oh, you were going to lose it in 10 years? Now you're going to lose it now. So, um, so it's like a preemptive measure. Because my dad is uh, almost 70 and, uh, and, and he's thinning for sure. And, uh, and so like, I was like, yeah, it's a pill a day, you know? And, and obviously again, you talk to your doctor about shit like that. Uh, you talk, you look at side effects, you look at, um, drug uh, interactions and stuff like that. You make sure that it's something that's, uh, you know, worth whatever amount of risk comes along with any prescription drug and, uh, you make your decision then, but I, I'm not trying to get any, me give any medical advice, despite what it may seem like. Uh, I, I strongly recommend you talk to your doctor when it comes to shit like that. But, uh, but yeah, I went up an asteroid. Doesn't finasteride make it hard to get hard? You know, that is one of the side effects of finasteride. I read that. And, uh, but the thing is I take blue chew every day. And again, this is not an, <laughs> this is not a sponsored content though. It should be bluechew.com slash PKA for, you know, get your first, uh, first shipment for, for, uh, only, only pay $5 for, for shipping first, uh, first order. Uh, they're not paying me right now. They should be though. Um, because I take the Cialis every day. For all I know, my dick stopped working months ago, right? Because <laughs> I take Cialis every day. And I, and I really like the Cialis anyway for a, a couple reasons. One, it's good for like blood pressure because it's a vasodilator. Um, two, makes your dick super hard because uh, who doesn't like that? And, uh, and three, like you get better pumps in the gym. Um, so like when you mix that with, with a pre-workout, it's like you get, extra, you get extra pump in the gym and it feels good. Uh, anything I feel like that makes, makes you see more results or feel more results. Um, that, that's the sort of thing that like helps you stay motivated and like keeps you going, um, that keeps you like getting more reps, get, getting back into the gym, not taking breaks, not eating fast food. Um, overall it's not getting lazy. Right. And so something like, uh, something like pre-workout or something like, um, the Cialis, um, has been super helpful for them. Um, <laughs> hey, retard, <laughs> how much was tea a week? Dude, it's cheaper than like, it's the cheapest thing that I, that, that I, that I use. It's cheaper than blue chew. I think maybe even like, it's so cheap. Um, I, I honestly don't pay attention when I buy it. So like, I, I hate to like give you a number and then you're going to like get yours and you're gonna be like, mine was 50 a month. And you said yours was 30. Um, so honestly, I don't know exactly. I'll say this. It's cheap for like back in the day. All right. When I used to work out with my cousin, when we were, um, 16, 17, 18, when we first bought that weight bench, started playing eye of the tiger down in the basement. Um, we'd go to GNC and we'd buy, we'd buy cell tech creatine, this big fucking $80 can of creatine, another $80 can of protein powder. And you had to load the creatine, which is bullshit. And, uh, and so you'd go through $80 worth of creatine in like three weeks and it didn't do shit. I do take creatine. I'll talk about that in a second. Cause someone asked about creatine a moment ago. Um, but yeah, it's cheap. Like it's not 200 a month. It's, I don't think it's a hundred a month off the top of my head. And I apologize if I'm just dead ass wrong about this, but I think it's like, 50 a month or something like that for, for like the, uh, the testosterone itself. And then you get syringes. Um, and the syringes, um, are fairly cheap too. You get that shit off of Amazon. Right. And then, um, you think you took Derek's website down? It's possible. I, I, I thought something like that might happen. Um, and then, uh, what protein? Oh dude, salted caramel. Salted caramel is the best flavor. Uh, that and cinnamon toast crunch. Um, I had, I had these crazy cravings for cereal during my weight cut. And the only thing they could like, like do away with it was that cinnamon toast crunch protein powder. I would, uh, I would add an extra shake of it every day just, just to like have some cinnamon toast crunch in my life. Uh, that's some good shit, but salted caramel is really good. Um, 
the, I'll, I'll say this about protein powder, a little advice here, uh, because the fitness industry is so full of like BS. My, what I look for in a protein powder is I want 20 to 25 grams of protein per scoop and pay attention to how big the scoop is, right? Because if it's enormous, then that they're scamming you. But uh, 20 to 25 grams of protein and less than 100 to 150 calories a scoop. And uh, you really want it to taste good and be cheap. Don't get like ripped off by, I won't call anybody out, but you know, there's, there's like content creators out there that have their own pre-workouts and stuff and their own protein powders and don't get caught up in a bunch of hype. I'll say this, I only use Derek's pre-workout. And if you watch, if you don't let me try to sell you Derek's pre-workout, Derek ain't paying me nothing by the way, just so we're clear. Um, I'm just incredibly thankful um, for all of his help because like he's, I, I, I spoke to him earlier. He's great. He's an awesome dude. I'm gonna have him on the show this week, so you, we'll, we'll chat with him a bunch. But um, I only use his pre-workout and don't let me sell his pre-workout to you. Just search for his video on his pre-workout um, and let him break it down. And if you're kind of a, a nerd about like the content of what you're putting in your body, um, you know, how much else citrulline or, or whatever the fuck is in there, um, then I think you'll be sold. Uh, it's, 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 it's what I like. And if you care about flavors, I like bomb sickle. Drinking Pepsi max mixed with coffee. Good for pre-workout. I mean, if you just want, uh, if you just want some caffeine, then I guess it depends how, like how much caffeine you need. I don't know how much caffeine's in Pepsi max. If I remember correctly, it's like 150 milligrams. I think coffee is around 80. Um, I usually take like two to 500 milligrams of, of caffeine if I'm doing fasted cardio. Uh, and that's because I've built up a tolerance like, like during those uh, months of working out. Um, I've kind of, dr I dropped the caffeine for the last two months. So I'm getting rid of that tolerance so I don't have to take as much, but however much you need to hit the heart rate that is, is like safe for you is how much caffeine I think you need. Yeah, the apple cereal protein powder is sick. I like that stuff too. Uh, we talked about injuries, just really minor ones, no big deal. Macros, um, 30%, 30%, 30%, and, uh, or 33, 33, 33. You know what I mean? Like one third fat, one third uh, protein, one third carbs, hitting uh, 200 grams of protein every single day at least. Uh, what brand of protein? I use all different brands. Nobody's paying me, so I'm not product loyal need to put my program into text coach kyle's gonna have to get paid boys i don't know what to say it's a lot of fucking work uh were, was i mad about the pile jokes i thought they were fucking hilarious and i knew that they were coming and it was it was going to be a part of this our fan base is awesome we've got one of the most viral viral's the wrong word like because like, that, that almost that has like a negative connotation we've got like one of the most like intense fan bases out there and I've spent years fat shaming, right? And uh, because I think it works. And so when I decided to like do the fat Mac and like intentionally gain all this weight and then intentionally like, like in secret, like cut it all off, I knew it was coming. I mean, why wouldn't it? I would have been mad if nobody gave me shit. Like I would have called y'all pussies. I would have called y'all a bunch of pussies if you didn't give me shit after I get, gave wing shit for all those years. Like, like, how could you not? How could you not? Like, like I knew it was coming. I, I relished every minute of it. Taylor and I would talk about it and just have a, a big laugh about it all the time. Um, it, it was, uh, I knew it was coming. I, I loved every minute of it. Um, and, and look, it's, it's part of like, I mean, shit. Like, like we, we started this chat with people saying, fuck Kyle a thousand times, right? Did my head get bigger? No, my head didn't get bigger. That's some shit that happens with, uh, with growth hormone, man. That's some, uh, that's some growth hormone stuff. And, uh, and I'm not opposed to growth hormone. Um, I don't know if I could get a prescription for that. Um, but, uh, but I would be down, get some of that Joe Rogan head expanding, uh, pro um, HGH. I'd be down like, like that. That's kind of what I'm going for. I'm not looking for, uh, uh, you know, like Olympic level, uh, cardio or anything like that. Oh, I will say this about, all right, I want to answer these questions as I get them. Side effects from the testosterone. Um, we'll do like the good, the bad, and the ugly, right? Good side effects, 
uh, after about six weeks, your sex drive, it, it feels like you're going through puberty again. Um, you, you're just like horny all the fucking time. Super, super horny. Um, obviously, the other good side effects are you recover faster. Um, you have a better sense of well-being, um, a little bit more confidence, but that could be like just because you're looking better or whatever. Um, but I just felt like generally happier with like the state of the world. Um, if that makes any sense, just a, a little bit of an antidepressant. Not that I was depressed, uh, but I felt good. I felt good um, right away after six weeks. Not right away. Say after six weeks. It that's what it that's what it seemed like it took to to really kick in. Uh, the bad, um, acne. So I was prone to acne as a kid, and so it came back again, uh, mostly on like my shoulders a little bit, and so I had to like go back to the same routine that I would do in my early 20s to keep acne away, to keep it away. And so I use like tea tree oil and uh, ex I exfoliate and uh, I take my Epsom salt baths. And, um, and I want to talk about this baths in a minute because that's part of the program. It's the, one of the sillier parts of my program. But, um, and then the ugly, you know, I, I feel like like testosterone and like, it, it's weird comparing TRT to like steroids. Because testosterone is a steroid, okay? But um, when you hear about roid rage, you're, you're generally speaking, from my understanding, you're, you're looking at people who are on, like, trim. You're looking at people who are on steroids that are uh, literally meant for animals and stuff like that in dosages that are not being monitored by a doctor and are unhealthy. And I never had anything like that. So I, I would say there were no ugly side effects. Um, there were side effects. Almost all good. The only bad was, like I said, a little bit of acne um, on my on my shoulders, on my back a little bit. Um, got most of that cleared up. Every now and then I'll get a pimple. So who fucking cares, right? Like, like it's not a big deal. Officer Trim. How much did it... Man, this chat so hard. Uh... Wings said he would beat my ass. Uh, Wings did not say that. I saw Wings being very kind to me the other day. Uh, Wings is a good guy. How did uh, how much did it cost roughly all in all? Oh, shit, man. I don't know. I didn't keep up with it. Um, the most expensive thing I do, I should mention this, is the L-carnitine. The L-carnitine is an amino acid, like I said, that I inject. And um, you can get it, uh, I believe, from like, legally, I believe you can get it over the counter essentially, um, from some websites. I have a prescription for it. Um, I inject 500 milligrams every day, an hour before I do whatever is the most intense thing I'm going to do on lifting days. Obviously, obviously that's my lifting on cardio days. It's my cardio, but, uh, I like that stuff a lot. It is expensive. It is, uh, um, maybe 120 a month or something like that for that stuff, maybe a little bit more, you know, when you get shipping and everything involved, uh, it's more expensive than, than the testosterone. But, uh, but every time, like, um, I, I speak to my doctor or my, my, my care provider, I'm like, I want some more L-carnitine. It's good for everything. Like my, my it's good for your blood pressure. Uh, it's again, the medical advice is kind of weird. It's been good for my blood pressure. It's been good for my cholesterol. It's been good for my, um, like fat loss. It's been good for, I think, making this the relatively speaking tiny dose of testosterone that i'm on go a little bit further um because of uh, the literature i've read about it up regulating androgen receptors uh if you want to get super nerdy about it uh basically making making your testosterone work better but i like that shit how quickly did the acne appear shit i don't know i don't know probably i think i think i think six weeks is, is about what it took um for like Good, good things and bad things to start happening. Wings needs my help. I don't know about that, man. I think he's, uh, you know, we're all an island in this world. Uh, I, I don't know if he needs my help. Would I consider myself a stronger individual than Taylor? Uh, I'm stronger than him in some things. He's stronger than me in some things. Uh, because Taylor really moves his... Um, his... Uh, lifts around a lot like he doesn't do the same thing every week like, like he'll be like ah i kind of want to do some of this and some of that and he's always changing things up so i think that makes it so that he doesn't maximize his strength necessarily in some lifts obviously i'm on testosterone so that is a bonus 
but he's like five years younger, so that's a little bonus for him too. Uh, but all in all, um, yeah, there are some things that I'm definitely stronger than Taylor at, and there are some things he's definitely stronger than me at. Um, for, it's not the sort of dick measuring contest that either of us really care about. I think we're both just like really into working out and everything and, and don't really care, you know, who's actually stronger or whatever. Was the food poisoning real or a bit? Why would that be a bit? Was it funny to you? <laughs> uh, no, man. Like, like that was awful. Like, I got the that was the worst food poisoning I'd ever had. Um, I, I, I'm I hate to overshare and get gross or anything, but I had bloody diarrhea that uh, until like a day later. Like, like the last time you guys saw me, whenever I was sick and I was on the show, like. I started pooping blood um, about eight hours after that. When I thought I would, I was about to start getting better. It just kept getting worse. Uh, personal records for common lifts. I have not maxed out a single lift. Um, I know that sounds kind of silly, but I don't want to like mess up my routine. You know what I mean? I feel like going for a uh, maxing out on bench or maxing out on squats or something like that. It's like okay, now nah, you missed a workout. And the thing is, I just genu genuinely don't care. I like genuinely don't care how strong I am. Um, my whole workout program isn't built around getting strong anyway. Uh, the, the strength gains are kind of like, they just happen. Um, I'm really going for like kind of an aesthetic. I just kind of want to look good without my shirt off. You know what I mean? And I think that's, unless you're like a firefighter or you're military or something like that where you need like that strength. There's a firefighter that goes to my gym. And, and he works out in his firefighter gear, like O2 and everything, full helmet, full oxygen. He's on the Stairmaster. And, uh, and I get it. It makes so much sense for him to do that. But for me, I just want to look good without a shirt on. So like I never max out. Um, and I doubt my, my maxes are like crazy. Uh, I bench press over 300 pounds. I doubt I bench press 350, but I'm probably getting there. Um, probably if I had to guess, I benched 325 or something probably twice probably i could probably nail that um i don't know and and everything else is a lot it's a lot of dumbbells right like lots of overhead press dumbbells and stuff you know i, I use a lot of uh 65 to 80 pound dumbbells depending on what i'm doing um for like um for um for delts you know when you're doing like um lateral raises uh i use 45 or 50 pound dumbbells to do lateral raises i think that's one of the most uh impressive lifts that i do because I don't see anybody else going that heavy on those. Um, my delts are pretty fucking big. And, uh, and I think that it's a product of a couple things. Uh, I think Derek's workout program is, is what it's about. Bec it's interesting that my, I don't want to compare my body to his body because he's a goddamn monstrosity of a human being. Like he doesn't even look real. But um, we both have strong delts, I'll say that. I already feel like a douchebag comparing myself to him because I'm kind of doing it a little bit. But we both have strong delts and weak chests. And I think maybe that's a product of his workout program and maybe not coincidental. Uh, but we'll see going forward because I've added more chest stuff. But one of the things I do with delts because I wanted to build big delts. I think they look good in shirts and stuff. Um, I do a lot of supersets. So I would, um, I would do like three sets of 12 with 45s, right? And then... I would do just side by sides with like 35s and, until I failed. And then I'd go to like 30s until I failed. And then 27.5s. And I would keep, keep dropping it down um, and doing these awful supersets until I was do, had five pound dumbbells and I, I couldn't do them anymore. And when I would leave the gym, I could barely drive home. And I, when I was washing my hair in the shower, I could barely like get my hands high enough to do it. And I did that every, I still do it. I still fucking do it. I do it every week. I do that every week, uh, until absolute failure. Should have bulked up before prison. Absolutely not. Cause then I go to prison and I can't get my juice, right? Go to prison and, uh, I can't, uh, have my TRT and all of a sudden I'm like becoming like a real bitch in prison, right? <laughs> you don't want that. They're not going to, they're not going to give you a TRT in prison. I don't think. Uh, so no. And someone asked earlier if the TRT is for life. 
Uh, in my case, what I, I want it to be, yeah, because I, I don't ever want to be um, like not on TRT. It's uh, it, it's not like I, I, I didn't do this to be like some sort of like I, I feel like some steroid users like like bodybuilders or whatever do like a cycle of steroids, right? Where they like they blast uh, like heavy doses for six, nine months. And then they just come off and they go on post cycle therapy and uh, and that's the routine and that's not con that's not indicative of someone who actually needs testosterone replacement therapy and that's what I wanted you know like I I wanted like my, my testosterone levels to forevermore be in the like you know average to high average range right like we're not looking to blow the chart out of the water. But we certainly don't want to be, I, I want to say, depending on what country you're in, the, uh, the reference range for where testosterone is supposed to be is somewhere between like 400 and like 1,000. No other number in medicine is like that. No, they're, they're not like, yeah, your glucose levels, they should be between 400 and 1,000. You're like, okay, well, 400 and I'm in a diabetic coma and 1,000 and I'm about to be in one. Like, 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 neither one of those numbers make any sense. Like, you would never apply those numbers to anything else hormonal. So, um, the idea that 400 is a okay is nonsense. Um, and uh, I, I don't, I, I get regular blood, blood panels done, and uh, mine's on the higher range of normal, and I feel fantastic. And I want it to always be like that. Uh, was it hard uh, to keep the secret? Oh, why did I keep it a secret? Um, cause I think, cause I thought it was funny. Cause I thought it was funny. Um, I, I thought that it would be fun because I wanted it to be just like that episode of it's always sunny in Philadelphia, how you end one season with fat Mac and you begin the other with this absolutely ripped Mac with no explanation. Like, like I, I wanted that so badly. So I didn't tell anyone at first. Um, I told Taylor like a few weeks in, I think I told Woody, um, look, I love Woody to death, but, um, Woody sometimes accidentally r forgets that something is like a secret and he'll like, let it slip a little bit in like casual conversation. He would never do that on purpose, but like every now and then he'll like let something slip a little bit. And I think it's just a testament to what a, like a, a good natured, honest man he is that he's just not accustomed to keeping too many secrets. And, uh, but, but like, I didn't really want to tell Woody right away cause I was afraid he'd like let something slip. He, he did a couple times. If you guys were really paying attention, Woody has dropped like five hints over the last uh, year about this. Cause like there was one time where he was like, uh, he was talking about working out himself and he was like, you know, I'm not as strong as you and Kyle are or anything, Taylor. And I'm sitting there like, don't tell them that I'm strong. <laughs> like, like, come on, it's a fucking secret here. Don't tell them I'm strong. But, but you know, it just never really occurred to him. I feel like this transformation that we made here is um, I had to do everything perfectly to like make this work. Um, there was no way that like you could half-ass anything. I felt like I had to squeeze every drop of like potential out of every moment of my day. And so I did that. So one of the things that I do between lifts, I rest for three minutes between lifts. Uh, I, I'll do my I'll do my set, and I've got three minutes. I'm on the clock. It's on my watch, and during that three minutes, I walk um, in in big circles around the gym, um, and I try to get in, I try to get in an extra. It ends up being about 3,500 extra steps that I get every day. It's just a little bit of extra cardio and a little bit of extra uh, like fat loss that I was just like getting for free every day, rather than sitting on the bench like you see everybody else doing. And uh, I would see everybody else sits, everybody else does their set and sits on their fucking phone and fucking Googles and Twitters. And I'm like, no, no pussy. Get up and like, let's come on. We're not done. It's not a, re we're not resting to rest. We're resting to get the, like, let the lactic acid reset so we can get the most out of our next set. So I would always try to get in as many uh, steps as I could during that. When I got home, um, I would take these Epsom salt baths at 105 degrees um, every day. I didn't miss one. Uh, I, I go through so much Epsom salt that Amazon, like, I, I have it auto, I've been on, I have it on auto delivery. It helps with a few things, um, muscle soreness for sure, because you never want to be like sore when you're trying to go as hard as I was going. And, um, but also it's good for your skin. 
that acne stuff I talked about before. It helps like dry out any like pimples or nonsense you got going on. And uh, the hot bath. I read somewhere online that hour-long baths um, at 104 degrees plus burn as many calories as like a 20 or 30 minute walk. And I was like, free calories, free calories. You do one, you'll never notice it, right? But if you do one every day for 11 months, it adds up to a few pounds, right? That you didn't have to run off, you didn't have to diet off. So I don't know, I was trying to squeeze like every little percentage point out of like the potential of the time that I had allotted. Oh yeah, I've got a cabinet full of it. Yeah, I've, I've absolutely got it. What do I listen to while I lift? Dude, my playlist. So uh, Landmark is kind of famous for having this hardcore playlist he listens to when he works out. He says your music should be as heavy as, your, uh, as the weights you're lifting. My thought process is the opposite. The weights are heavy enough. We want some light music. So I'm listening to like, um, I'm listening to stuff that I find motivational, but it's pop and it's girly and it's lame. Okay. Like, like you should listen to whatever gets you going and keeps you motivated. I'm just opening my Spotify to like, look at some of the songs that I listen to. I was, listening to, it looks like I was, uh, there's a song called, uh, holding out for a hero. <laughs> there's a song called holding out for a hero by Bonnie Tyler. Look, when you're, when you're, when you're just sore and tired at the gym and like you didn't quite eat enough pre, pre-gym pre and so your blood sugar is starting to crash a little bit and you're like feeling a little bit shaky, but you got to crank out 36 more weighted pull-ups or weighted dips, you got you to gotta put on the Bonnie Tyler holding out for a hero <laughs> and you're just like, that's me, that's me, I'm the hero. And you're just cranking out those fucking dips with a 50 pounder around your waist and it's like, I don't know, I can get it done, I can get it done. Uh, but, but no, my music is my music. Um, I, I don't think it, I don't think most people would like it. Uh, it's, it's, I listen to like uh, country and pop. I listen to the guardians of the galaxy soundtrack. I dig that a lot. All that 70s stuff. Uh, lots of easy listening. Um, and every now and then I like crank up, uh, the, the Rocky soundtrack, anything that'll like keep me going, you know, like that'll like give me a little boost, um, and maybe like crank out an extra rep or, uh, or maybe go, you know, add a, add another plate onto the bar or whatever. Should send some pics to snow, dude, snow would be so proud of me. You got a problem towards, uh, committing toward working out. You made a workout bench for me to do a bench press was so freaking pumped up while building on that bench after it's done. Not a single press, uh, bench press happens. How do you stay committed towards working out? Mm. Do I ever, uh, and then I'll get your question next, man. That's the, that's the, that's the question, right? Like, like, how do you stay, how do you stay into it? Um, I agreed to do a thing like, like that's that I put myself in a spot where it was sink or swim and that's what did it for me. Um, it was putting myself in this position where there were people counting on me. Uh, Derek had put in so much of his time and effort, right? He had, he was like, yeah, give me a couple days and I'll get you this workout program printed out and emailed to you. Give me a couple days. I'll get this diet program. Yeah. Let me see if like we can get you in front of a doctor a little sooner than later. He had just really pulled out all the, all the stops for me. And, uh, and I felt that this was in some way, like it would, it would, I felt like it would make him look bad if, if I looked bad and I didn't want to fail him. And, um, and I didn't want to fail you guys either. I didn't want to like, I don't know. I didn't want to do a bad job. I didn't want to do a half-ass job. Um, I, I wanted to commit to a thing and I wanted to mean what I said and say what I made, uh, meant. And, uh, and I don't know, just like that alarm clock would go off sometimes and I would just not want to go. I would just not want to go. But um, I had to. And, and the worst part is it was like, the alarm clock goes off and I would be hungry. I would be so hungry. I, I had gone to bed hungry I, and I had woken up twice already in the night hungry and I couldn't eat because I knew I had to do fasted cardio as soon as I woke up. And, uh, and I would wake up and I would just like lay there looking at the ceiling and, and weigh my options, right? I could roll back over and go to sleep. Fuck. That's what a fat pussy does. I could 
I could get up and put my shoes and socks on and go for a little walk instead. You know, that's, you know, we'll get a few steps in. That's, that's, that's an appeasement, by the way. That's what that, that shit is. That's, that's sort of, that's sort of a half measure for, uh, to kind of meet somewhere between the like bitch in your blood and the, uh, and the Chad in your blood or whatever. That's, that, that's sort of like being a Brian or some shit. You know, it's like, it's, it's like, well, we don't have to be a Chad, but we don't have to be a bitch. Like maybe we'll just go for a little walk. And then it'd be like, fuck it. I could just order five guys right now. They'll bring it. They'll bring it. I could reinstall Postmates. And every time I would just lay there and I would come up with the same conclusion. You did it yesterday and you're going to do it tomorrow. The fuck, why wouldn't you do it today? And I would just get up and I would put my shoes and socks on and I would take a piss. I'd go get that syringe of L-carnitine and stick it in my ass cheek. And it doesn't feel good. Uh, Derek says that's the thing he's most surprised that I stuck to was that almost nobody uh, sticks to one milliliter of L-carnitine a day because uh, after a while it hurts. Um, and it, there were times where it felt like I was, I had been kicked in the ass. Uh, it does hurt. It's, it's a lot of, um, stuff you're injecting into your ass. <laughs> it don't feel good. Um, and you know, I, I take that L-carnitine, I take my, uh, my caffeine, whatever I was going to take and, uh, set that timer on my watch for one hour. And at 55 minutes, I was out that door. You know, I had to be out that door, um, every single fucking time. And, but once you get there, Man, once I get there, I feel so good. I already like like it's like getting there is the biggest hurdle. Um, doing it is easy. Once you're there and you're in the groove and you're on that elliptical, just fucking pumping away, watching the time, you know, go by. Or um, lately, I, tra I transitioned to an exercise bike and I just get in my living room and um, I'll knock out like 17 miles and uh, just watch some Seinfeld episodes or something like that. I don't, it's hard, man. I don't think I have a good answer for you other than. I put myself in a position where failure was not an option. Um, failure was not an option for me. Uh, I, 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 wouldn't, I, I, couldn't, I couldn't have dealt with the shame of failure. Um, it, it, was, it, it was impossible. Uh, there were so many people counting on me, so many people that I had told what I was going to do. And, um, and I don't know, I meant it when I said it. So like, that's, that's what I did. I don't, I don't think it's a magic pill. I don't think I'm going to be able to say, you know, man, just get in there and hit it. You, you know, do it. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. You don't want to do it. If you wanted to do it, you'd have done it already. So I don't have a magic pill for you. I would just say, um, I, it, it's, it's a commitment, you know, it, it's a sink or swim kind of thing. Just, I, I, I committed to doing it and, um, fair was not an option. So I kept doing it and I'm still doing it today. Um, you know, I got up this morning and, uh, I didn't want to get on that fucking exercise bike. I don't want to get on that fucking exercise bike. Oh my God, I didn't want to get on that exercise bike. I got on that exercise bike and, and I, I cranked out 15 miles and I felt great after I was done. Uh, I don't know. That's, that's all I know how to say with that. Uh, do you work out your uh, core uh, stabilization, blah, blah, blah. I, I, dude, I, I really just literally do what, um, uh, what, what I'm told, right? You know, like I, I, I follow my workout plan to the T. Um, I've added a few little things in there. Oh, what's up, Hutch? I've added a few little things in there to the, uh, the, the workout program. Um, there were a few things that I felt like weren't like really connecting with me. Um, uh, I want to say dumbbell. Um, what do you call it when you lie on your back and, uh, you sort of like, like butterflies or whatever. You're like pulling it, pulling toward your chest. What do you call that shit? Flies. Yeah. Like, like dumbbell flies. I just couldn't f get like a good connection to my chest with those. So, um, I just prefer cables for those. So other than that, like I, I followed Derek's uh, recipe to a T do I still use nicotine? You're goddamn right. I use nicotine. Oh my God. It was so like, like that's why I, um, that's one of the things that, uh, I got more and more into was vaping. Like as this thing's going on, I've been talking so much for the last couple of hours that, you know, I haven't been fucking with it, but it's a appetite suppressant. <sighs> And when you're cutting from 3,600 calories a day to 2,500 calories a day, and you're running an hour a day, and you're lifting, um, you're going to get hungry a lot. Uh, I think it's called ghrelin. It's like the, uh, the, the thing in your body that like, makes you feel that, those hunger pangs. And nicotine helped me with that. Um, uh, you can say what you will about the health benefits of nicotine, but uh, I was, it was a performance enhancer for me. I'll, I'll say that. 
you know, um, interestingly enough, uh, one of the effects that the uh, testosterone had, and perhaps the weight training as well, is my bone density increased significantly. Um, I'm going to try, I'm going to probably show you this in the camera. I'm just making sure I'm not going to like reveal anything, you know, too personal or anything. So I'm going to show you a graph. Um, this graph obviously is probably going to mean very little to you, but just note the trend upwards. And this is uh, bone density. So like it's starting on the low end, like, like over there and like it went up, it went way up. Um, and I don't think bone density usually, usually increases as you get older, but, uh, but it did for me. Uh, let's see, I got another graph here. I think this is like the most, let's see that lean mass. Here we go. <laughs> All right. So even I, when I look at these numbers, am, am skeptical. Uh, God, that's so much. Did I really gain that much? I, I don't, look, maybe, uh, maybe DEXA isn't the most accurate uh, way to, to gauge fat and muscle loss. But according to DEXA, I gained 28.7 pounds of lean mass in 11 months. Uh, those, of, those of you out there who know what uh, those numbers mean, know that that is fucking outrageous. Take it with a grain of salt. But, uh, but that, that, that's what, uh, that's according to the DEXA and that's not according to like one before and one after. That is a trend that I hit um, getting monthly scans.